guys, it's Jess from Makeup by Jessie G and today I'm going to share with you my September favourites. This month I don't have as many products to show you just because I, even though I haven't, I've tried some new foundations, I've tried some, a lot, lots of different new things, there hasn't been as many that I've absolutely fallen in love with, but the products that I have chosen are like Die Hard, my favourites, a couple of them now are like Ride or Die and that I can't live without. So I'm super excited to share these with you and I hope you enjoy. So if you want to see it, please keep watching. Thanks! Bye! So my first product that, um, that I'm going to show you is the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes. That's it here. It's a super dark palette and... Yeah, it's just got some really nice shimmery colours. I do prefer shimmers over mattes a lot of the time. I don't feel like my look is complete without a shimmer in it. Definitely needs some kind of element like that. Um, I really love this because it can create a really dark, dark, smoky kind of eye, which I really love. Um, it's got lots of different kind of colours that I don't have in other palettes and I don't really, I don't really own many single eyeshadows. I don't like them so much. I like just being able to pick up a palette and you know, create a look from that. So I like that this has got some darker shadows. And I really love this shade here. This is really cool. It's called Satin Sheets. It's just a beautiful, like, light pink colour. I love that. I just think this is an absolutely gorgeous palette. It's not new at all. I know it's been out for ages, but I just recently got it. So I absolutely love this one. And my next favourite for the month of September is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. I think this palette is absolutely gorgeous it's stunning it's definitely got more cool toned eyeshadow so if you're a warm toned person I don't think this is gonna be exactly your like favorite palette I I kind of mix I like cool tone and warm tone so I think yeah I really do like this palette and some days it has some similar colors to the boudoir palette but there are a lot more shimmers in here or like you know kind of like metallic -y finish eyeshadows which I love um, I just think it creates more dimension in the eyeshadow and it has just some gorgeous gorgeous shades but it still has some matte colors at the end um i don't generally use this eyeshadow palette on its own because i don't like um all the matte colors in terms of like a crease color or something like that so i do generally use this palette in conjunction with something else but i think the colors that it's got in here are very unique and i just love it i think yeah, I think as per usual with the Urban Decay um, eyeshadows, they're great quality. And yeah, I, was, I love the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. I've wanted this for so long, but I've never ever gone, gotten around to purchasing it. So when I got this one, I was super excited and I love it so much. So I'm super happy to have this one now. So my next favorite is the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. This is the all-nighter one. I love this stuff now. I wasn't really the biggest fan of makeup setting sprays because I didn't see that they made so much of a difference. Like, I, it, they just, I don't know if I was using them wrong, but they just didn't seem to work for me. But I have been using this so much more lately. What I've been doing is applying my skincare, like my, you know, moisturizer, primer, those kinds of things. I'll apply that and then I'll spray this over the top to set that in and that helps stop the oiliness of my skin coming through it. Like help, it helps it um, helps my makeup last throughout the day. Um, because I've really noticed, like even when I apply the makeup setting spray at the end of all my makeup, I have noticed that helping. And I still do that. I apply it twice. So I apply it once after skincare, once after the makeup, and I still do see that helping after applying it after I finish all my makeup. But when I apply it with my skincare, I've like it's like it provides you know that extra barrier that that oil's got to get through so I love doing that it just helps my makeup last so much longer throughout the day so I generally don't do it on like a day-to-day -day basis but if I know my makeup has to last like if I'm going to work and then going out after work I, I know I can do that trick and it's gonna last the whole day so I love my I love my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray I really want to try the Scandinavia one as well I've heard they've got some really good ones so um, once this one runs out, I'm going to check out those as well. And my next favourite for this month is this BH Cosmetics. What is it called? Waterproof Lip Liner. I've got four of these, which I absolutely love. I think they're really great, great quality for such a an affordable price. I just think BH Cosmetics has got some really, really great stuff. If you haven't checked them out, 
definitely do so. You do have to pay for shipping in Australia, which is kind of annoying, but I mean, their products are so cheap anyway that it's not really a, that big of a deal. Um, my favourite colour, which I've got here, is Stripped. It's just a beautiful nude colour. It will go under, you know, most kind of pinky tone nude. So I love this. I love this colour. I think it's just great for everyday wear, but it glides on so smoothly. Um, yeah, I just love it. I, I don't use any, you know, expensive lip liners now. I love the BH ones and the Colourpop ones. I think they're both great. Um, I love BH in terms of their lids don't slip off, whereas with the Colourpop ones, I really find the lids slip off easily on them. Um, but Colourpop definitely has more colours, so you know, if you're wanting some other colours that BH don't have, Colourpop has some amazing ones too. I would say the Colourpop ones are actually my favourite out of all of them, but a bit annoying because the cap always slips off. Like, it's just, it, uh, yeah, it just constantly slips off. And my next favourite is the Jouer Longwear Liquid Lip Creams, I think they're called. I don't know, they're liquid lipsticks anyway, that's all they have in terms of liquid lipsticks. Um, I've got four of them, although I've only got three here because I've lost, I think it's, I don't know, I've misplaced it somewhere, it'll show up, but, um, so I've got four, the one I can't find is called Brick, that was part of their fall collection, I love it, that's my favourite one, it's absolutely stunning, it's like a deep, deep red, it's absolutely beautiful, I've also got Creme Brulee Noisette, and then a metallic one as, one, as well, which is Papai, and I've ordered another one, I can't remember which one I ordered, and I've also ordered one of the lip toppers in Skinny Dip, which I'm super excited to try, so hopefully they work out well. Um, they had another one, I think it was called Tan Lines, um, which is like a deeper bronzy shade. If you've got deeper skin tone, I'd probably go with that one, but that was not at all going to work for me. <laughs> it was not going to work. Um, I've got Noisette on today, so it does go like it goes quite deep, but it's a beautiful shade. I absolutely love them. They're not too drying on the lips. They're so opaque. The consistency of these are like, um, they're like, it's like they're whipped. They're really like airy and like they've got a lot of like body to them. They're not too like watery. Um, so I really love that. I think they're beautiful. Um, I find that I can, like they'll last almost all day. Like unless I eat something like oily or something like that, it's not going to come off. I generally find it's only when I eat, like, when there's oil in my food, that's when it removes it. Um, so I absolutely love these. I think they're great value for money. I order mine from a website called Cult Beauty. Um, they're a UK company. Generally, the shipping doesn't take too long. So the prices they've got listed on the website are inclusive of the tax in the UK. So when you check out, it notices that you're not, like, if you're not from the UK, it notices that and it takes that tax off and takes, so that's like 17.5% I think that it takes off the price tag. So what you see on the price on the website isn't actually what you have to pay. So it's a lot cheaper. You can also join up and there's um, constantly like, um, you know, campaigns and things going. So when we, um, me and my sister bought these, when we bought the, um, when we bought the liquid lipsticks, we bought them together and I think we spent over a certain amount so we got a free palette of theirs and it was, yeah, it was really awesome. So um, I would say definitely check them out. They're a great company. Um, we did have a little bit of an issue when we ordered them. Me and my sister ordered papaya each, so we ordered two things of papaya. Um, we got the order, they all showed up, got two boxes with papaya written on it. One of them had papaya, one of them had brick which I ended up loving anyway, so that's fine. It's like my favorite one. But um, we did email them and I said, look, we haven't got our, oh, um, this is what happened. And they said, oh, so sorry. Um, would you prefer, because um, papaya was sold out by that stage, which was kind of annoying, but um, they did, they were like, oh, look, we'll choose another one or get a refund and, um, you know, that's what we can do. We can, yeah, you can choose another one that you like. So my sister didn't end up liking papaya as much as she thought she would. So I got papaya and she chose another shade and they sh sent it out. Shipping was so quick. It only took a couple of days. They were really, really good. And the customer service there, it was just fantastic. And next up, I have this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Lip Therapy. Now I bought this after I used the Mecca Lip Delusious thing I got in the Beauty Loop because I really needed something super, super hydrating to um, repair my lips after 
the damage that that did. If you haven't um, checked out my blog post on it, I'll link it down below. Um, it's just, yeah, it really did not turn out well. I did do a full review on it. Um, but I, I use this day in, day out now before I apply any lipsticks. I will put this on at the beginning of my makeup, let it sit there. I'll then dab off the excess when I'm ready to apply my lipstick and then put my lipstick over the top. Um, I use liquid lipsticks every single day and my lips aren't dry or cracking and I really think it's because of this um, lip balm because this is just seriously one of the best. I ordered this from Beauty Bay, um, so it's not too expensive. Beauty Bay does have a lot of things that are cheaper than like Sephora or things like that. They do stock some of the same brands, so I love this stuff. I will definitely be repurchasing it when I run out, although hopefully that's not for a while because it is a decent sized tube. Um, so yeah, I, I really love this stuff and I would highly recommend it. So next up I am going to talk to you about skincare. These are my last two favourite products that I have. Um, they are both from Rain Beauty. So I have these two here. This one here is a primer and this one here is a night cream. I use these together at, um, well, night. I don't use the serum, serum in the morning but um, I use them both at night. Um, I absolutely love these. I, the serum that I've got is the Ren Evercalm Anti Redness Serum. So I love this stuff. I have got a lot of redness on my skin. Um, I've got very pale skin with like massive pink undertones. It's not even like slightly. I'm very, very, very pink undertone. Um, I also get um, a lot of acne and things like that because my skin is so oily. So that just does not help with the redness. Um, so I wanted to try a, this stuff because it does say anti redness. I have noticed an improvement, not that it's taken out all the redness on my skin, but I've definitely noticed an improvement. And since using both of these products together, I have finally felt comfortable enough if I'm, you know, just going to the shops or something quickly, like picking up some groceries, I'm finally feeling okay with not wearing makeup out. And that's a really big deal to me because for the past four or five years, I haven't really gone outside without makeup. Whereas in the past few months, I have you know, being comfortable enough in my skin to go, you know, I can deal with this, I can go out. So now I, you know, if I look at myself in the mirror without makeup on, I don't go, oh my god, my skin's so red, it's so gross, it's so horrible, there's, you know, there's acne all over it, there's, it's, I just, I don't think that, and I don't say those, like, I just don't think those things, and I really think it's down to these products. Um, I also use the Ren v Sense revitalizing night cream so that this night cream is it's not like super moisturizing it's very lightweight which is great for me having oily skin because I don't want something that's gonna you know put too much moisture back in my face but I love this because it just it feels so nice and light but you can really feel like it you can tell that it's moisturizing everything that I have tried from Ren so far I absolutely love it and same with um, Mario Badescu I, Badescu I love a lot of their products as well so I'd highly recommend you checking out both of those brands so I kind of pick and choose which one I think is going to be better out of those two brands um, as I don't often branch out out of that because I know that they're going to work for me I have very sensitive skin and I don't want to um, aggravate it too much so I know that their products are really high quality and not too expensive because sometimes skincare can get crazy expensive and it's just not worth it when you can get things that are great quality at great prices so I'd highly recommend checking out these um, Ren products. So I just lied for a second. I do have one more favourite and this is another skincare. Um, so you've probably heard everybody talking about this. This is the Milky Piggy Carbonated Face Mask. Um, so so many people have done like the crazy videos where they put this on, the fa on their face and it bubbles up heaps. Um, yeah, so you've probably seen this before. It is a Korean beauty product, so it is kind of a little bit harder to get your hands on in Australia. But I absolutely love this stuff. It is seriously amazing. I use it um, to remove my makeup. Some like I, I'll use it to remove my makeup sometimes, and I'll also um, use it as a mask sometimes as well, depending on how oily I feel like my skin is. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. You have no idea. Check out my Instagram and blog. I'll put the links down below. Um, yeah, so thank you so much, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.